everyone and welcome to EG Jewel Lapidari. My name is Eli Ganim and uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to fix your uh, 6 inch trim saw in order to have continuous uh, flow of water. Well, let me go back a little bit why I'm doing that. Well, there is a reason for it. First of all, if you're cutting uh, soft material or you're cutting turquoise or you're cutting opal, you don't need to have uh, dirty water or you don't want to have um, oil. You don't want to use oil in there. So the, the problem I had uh, a few weeks ago, I was cutting uh, these cobalite slabs and cobalite it has silver in them and, and the, uh, the silver is very nice once it's finished. The problem with it is when you start cutting these slabs uh, what happened is it, the water turns black and I can basically I can't see the lines that I'm cutting so it created a problem and I just uh, take them off I gotta wash them and I gotta go back in cut half an inch again and, and, and it's the same thing you, know, you can't see it now the end results though it, it's very nice so as you can see here uh, you got some uh, uh, caps that they already finished and you could see the silver on them It's beautiful caps and that's why I'm cutting them and I, I have to uh, to go through that but I figured well if I have this problem especially if I'm cutting the cobalite slabs and or even if you're cutting uh, choroid opal choroid opal also it's a messy uh, boulders that uh, it turns brown so you know you, you can't see anything it would be nice to have fresh water going right through your blade so what I did I took the so I took one of them and what I did is I cleaned it up and make sure you do that took the blade out cleaned it and this is what I did I added uh, I took the nipple out which is it comes in this is HP uh, six inch which uh, Highland Park it has a nipple that uh, block the hole to drain the water from inside or the oil if you're using oil so I took this one out it's quarter inch NPT and what I did is I put in a pipe nipple then I added a valve so you can see the valve here and then I added another quick disconnect now you don't have to do all this I mean whatever you have just to get the water off as long as you have the valve on and off then I'll tell you why do you have this valve so if I'm cutting for instance uh, just opal uh, or something or turquoise that's something that doesn't dirty my water I don't need to have the continuous flow so I fill it up with water and I keep cutting until I'm finished once I finish you don't want to leave your blade sitting in water so you open it get rid of the water and so there's no more water inside the tank what I also use is WD-40 you could use the WD-40 just spray your blade make sure that uh, there's no more water in it and so it won't rust now if you're going to do this if you're going to take your blade off uh, or the the saw out make sure you clean everything clean the top and when also you know, I forgot to tell you when at the end I put a, a nipple here there's a nipple where the water comes up and this is a quick disconnect that you could buy I think Harbor Freight or any hardware store store they will have it so that quick fit and that comes off so uh, the reason for that it has barbs at the end of it and what I use I have a hose here that with this hose I just press it inside so now you got a, a drainage hose so when I put it here like this now I can have the other hose in the bucket of uh, empty bucket where all the water is going to drain in. 
If you don't need it, you just take it up and you close the valve. So what I did also is to get the water in continuously is I took there is a get a pump. This is this pump here. Uh, now they're very cheap. They're not that expensive. This is a water pump that they use for fountains and gardening supplies. You might have them, and uh, it's very easy. I, I all I did is took a quarter inch pipe, which also you can buy it from a hardware store, fit it in, and uh, you put the pump into a bucket of water and you let it run. I'm going to show you that later. Right now, uh, let me put back the top. So, so everything how it fits. This one here fits back in position. And what I did is I, uh, I had a problem getting these the old bolts. These are new bolts. Getting the old bolts out. And uh, so what I did is I drilled and re-tabbed them to a larger size. I used a quarter inch tab on this one here. And uh, if you're going to do that, make sure that the heads of the bolt they're flush or below the surface. And the reason for that is when you get your your slab trying to cut it, you don't want to get stuck with with the head of the uh, the bolt. So make sure uh, you contour bore these uh, these holes for the head, and uh, so this way they will fit below that surface. We won't have this problem again. Okay, so. Let me tighten this one here, and then I'm going to show you how you set the pipe for the water to continuously flow on your slab, okay? You see, they're below the surface, which is great. Okay. And once these are done, you need you need a bucket of water, fresh water, and the bucket of fresh water is going to be for the pump. So here I got a bucket of water. You take the pump and you fit it in. But before I do that. How you connect it here? Now, if you're gonna, here's the pipe, and you need the water to spray over your blade. Now, you can't. I mean, you you could have twist ties to hold it, but you gotta watch out that the blade is coming at the bottom here and might cut them off. So you gotta watch out where you're gonna put it. Usually, in the front, you have more room uh, to put the twist tie, but in the back here, what I'm doing is. I'm going to take a twist tie here and I'm going to set it up at the back like so. Just tighten it to hold the pipe in, in position. Okay. Um, here I have a little bit of room in the front and if you don't have that you could actually adjust uh, the guard by moving the bolt in the back which if you push it in it will raise it up push it out it will and here I have enough room to even put this one here you can put them in and there you go and this way it will be adjusted right here over your blade, over your part, it's coming down. So if I have the the pump put in the water, now I don't want to start it right now because I don't have anything here. 
So let me take uh, this here, the hose. Now I'm going to just push it in, and like I said before, these bars would hold the hose in position. Yeah, I don't have to draw all the way because it's not going to go anywhere. So, and as it's, it is quick disconnect, you just push it in, you're done. Okay. Now this is closed. You put the other end in a bucket. Okay, here we are. And let's see if I can start this one here. Plug the pump. Now it's working. Here you go. See the water coming in? So that's your your water coming in. At the same time. It's filling up your your uh, your tank, but this is closed. If I open it, the water is going to go right straight through it, and I'm running fresh water all the time. Now the other thing is with this water, uh, the let me stop it. Okay, the pump itself it has a little uh, switch here, uh, minus plus. So you could adjust the flow to anything you want. So if you don't want it that much, uh, you could just have it a little bit. Uh, let's see if this is going to work. And there you go. And you could see it's not as much as it was before. Uh, you still can do it even less than that. Okay, so there's an adjustment for, for the water flow. Even if it's like this, this is great. So what you do is you just stop cutting, make sure that everything is going away, and all the wire is going to go down. Um, once you finish with that, make sure to clean your blade. Okay. So if I go like this, I'll dump this one to the side. Make sure it's it's all gone. And. So everything goes down right into the. Uh, so this way I'll have the. There you go. I'll have all the water below the surface. And like I said before, a bit of WD-40. You know, on the blade. That will help. You could do it on both sides. Okay, that will help it. So this is it's very simple way of doing it, right? And uh, so you get two ways of doing it is uh, continuous flow when you're doing something that is dirty like the uh, cobalite silver and uh, or like uh, the choroid opal and then you could fill it up with water shut off the valve and use it uh, without using the pump just to cut your uh, op uh, opal or uh, turquoise or any, any other rug that you need to do. Um, if you are interested in these slabs, let me know. And uh, you got some nice, nice cabs here, nice silver that really comes out of these here. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this one here. And uh, you could change yours, and this way you have always fresh water coming out uh, to cut your uh, your specimen or you cut your your slabs. Um, I hope you like it, and if you do, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, uh, this way at least you can get uh, notified right away as soon as I make something new. Uh, you'll be able to watch it and see it. Uh, thank you very much, and good luck.